Hey YouTubers, it is Trinity Production, TrinityProSound.com coming at you again with another video. We are really excited um, for this video. We have been sent a um, FBT Muse line array cabinet, uh, in fact two of them, um, to do a video and take a listen to. Um, so this is kind of a first for us. We put out uh, uh, a video on the FBT line when we were at uh, at NAM, and we've done a, a video on the uh, coaxial monitor that they have, which is pretty stinking fantastic. But now we are bringing you this um, big boy cabinet um, from F FBT Line Array. Um, just uh, first impressions: it is an all wood box. Um, it is uh, about 85, 90 pounds in weight. Um, it is pretty beefy. The rigging hardware on it is fantastic. And uh, we're just going to go over the specs right now. It's a two-way configuration um, with a built-in. These are powered. So with a built-in amplifier, um, we've got uh, 400 watts going to the low frequency, the dual drivers in there, and we'll get to those. And then we've got 200 watts going to the high frequency drivers. Um, frequency response, 55 to 20K. Uh, it does have there's the phone. Um, it does have two 10-inch drivers in it, and then uh, it has two 1-inch drivers in, in it for the um, high frequency. Max SPL um, is uh, continuous 128 and uh, peak 135. Um, it is a 10-degree box, so it's like a little knife, and uh, 90 degrees wide. And um, Let's see, crossover frequency is at 1.1, so it's down a little way, so that means it's probably got a, a pretty good size um, high frequency driver on it, but we'll get in and take a look at that as well. Um, it does have XLR in and out. It does have the um, bigger power cons, the big 20 amp um, power cons in and out, the yellow ones, um, and those go in, and then there's a link out on them as well. Um, net weight is um, 83 pounds. Um, Size-wise, um, I don't know, it looks like it's maybe, I don't know, 24 inches wide. Um, 25, 25.66 to be exact. So um, we're going to, um, we've already listened to this thing a little bit and it sounds absolutely amazing. And so what we're going to do now is um, start doing a uh, take it apart on it and show you what is... Uh, inside this uh, FBT Muse cabinet. Um, again, two-way line array box, dual 10-inch drivers, dual 1-inch drivers, and uh, we'll get in and take a peek at it and uh, start taking it apart. One of the things I want to do um, is just kind of go over what the, the front of it, it's an all-metal grill. It does have, um, look like kind of a nylon material behind it, so you can't see the speakers. Um, very clean, lines as far as the front of it is concerned. Rigging hardware is all on it with all of the, um, the stainless pins um, that are in the rigging hardware. Very nice hardware on it because it all just pulls back up into the, um, go ahead and turn this thing a little bit here, and just pulls back up inside the cabinet so that as you're linking these guys together they've got a little button there that you can pull them up. Um, they do have transport carts available for them as well and uh, fly frames uh, for them. Um, and then in the back of the um, manual here, they go through how to set that up and, um, and what is involved in flying these things and then also doing a ground stack with them as well. Um, so nice hardware and um, nice stainless steel pins. Again, the back hardware for doing the alignment and the um, displaying of the boxes is all um, addressed on there and set so that um, it can be easily seen and uh, adjustments can be made readily um, as well. We'll leave that out for now until I can see to get it back in. So anyway, first impressions on this thing are um, pretty fantastic. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to pull the front off first and, um, and then pull the back off. Um, before we do though, we're just going to do a spin around here and show you what the, um, the back of this box looks like. Um, we've got some presets over here and uh, high frequency control. We do have a ground lift and also a low pass filter um, available on the box. Um, on this side we've got uh, a fuse and then just the uh, power con in and outs and then back over here we've got the XLR in and outs um, on the box as well. 
So um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it um, with the FBT Muse line array and uh, start doing a take apart. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the front grill off. It comes out with um, eight uh, threaded screws um, that are on, um, looks like they're on thread certs in there. And uh, as they say in the Great White North Beauty, eh? um, that's fantastic because you don't have to worry about if you're going to take the grill off, do driver replacements or anything like that of stripping those puppies out. So good job, FBT. Um, pulling the grill off, again, um, very sturdy material. The backing on it um, with this it looks like there is a layer, kind of a special foam that they've done that's got a nylon on it um, as well. But very nice. Um, not your typical um, foam um, that is uh, seen on most speakers. So um, very, very nice, very nice and good, good durable um, gauge of material. So now there we got it. Um, this is the first time I've even opened this thing up myself. So um, I have seen it. So um, we're looking at the, uh, do some little dusting in here, but the high frequency assembly down through the center here and um, turn it a little bit so you can see that in the throat of the, uh, the waveguide off the driver that they have. And then they've done some very unique things with um, Kind of limiting the sound out of the uh, the drivers there and porting it here on the sides to get some of the low frequency out of it as well. Um, I kind of like the look of it with the uh, the front of it off to tell the truth. But um, we're going to go ahead get this pulled and uh, start taking a look at the internal drivers that are in there and see what this cabinet is all about. Okay, so now we've got it opened up, as you can see, and the, uh, the driver's exposed. Um, everything came out with um, Phillips screws, so no special um, tools or anything required. Um, one of the things we noticed is that they have on these um, plates that go in front of the speakers that, um, and I'm going to have to do research and find out why exactly they do all of this. Um, I know I do a lot of reviews and things on speakers, and this is the first time I've ever run into this, and I think it has to do with some phasing and frequency response and things, but um, me personally, I'm going to have to read up on that. They have some dampening material on it so that it doesn't resonate um, from the, uh, the drivers on it itself, and um, you can just tell that by tapping it, but it um, came out real easy, and um, now we're going to go ahead and pull these... 10-inch um, drivers out, take a look at, see what they are, and uh, what kind of maggot, mag, magnet, not maggot, magnet structure that they've got on them, and, um, and see what type of basket assembly and everything that they have. So um, we'll go ahead and get those pulled. And um, Okay, so now we've got the drivers out, and i um, pretty impressed. These are cast frame. Uh, they are ceramic magnet, so they add a little bit of weight to the box. Um, probably 12, 13 pounds per speaker. Um, the um, cone, cone surround on it is, um, it's pretty tight um, on, the, on the speaker. They've done a nice job in marking everything on what is plus and what is minus. Um, but I'm very impressed with these little 10-inch um, drivers. Get those off to the side here. Um, down inside the box, they've got, uh, the drivers are run in, um, in parallel. And so reducing that down probably to a uh, four ohm load um, on the amplifier. Um, done a nice job. They've got uh, red and black, which I love because then you can tell what color is what um, and what goes to where on the speaker and instead of like orange and blue and things like that um, that sometimes I see in speaker boxes that just kind of don't make sense, but oh well. Um, down inside the box, there is a lot of the foam, um, kind of like egg crate dampening material down in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn it sideways a little bit so that you can kind of see inside the box. And you can see the, the horn assembly back there and then the drivers that are on the back, you know, which we'll go ahead and pull out, but the drivers are a pretty decent size for this box. Um, and then the amplifier is in the back of it as well. Um, the construction of this thing is just amazing. I mean, it is very solid. Um, with the dampening material inside it, as you can see here, um, 
there's just like, we had it on earlier and there's just like no resonance out of this box whatsoever. Um, it just all comes out the front. So um, pretty impressive. So um, it's like you can almost crawl in there and take a nap. Um, but uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get the, um, the high frequency driver assembly pulled out and take a look at that and um, maybe get in a little bit closer and take a look at uh, some of the construction of the, um, the wood box itself. So, um, okay, so it took us a little bit to get the high frequency driver assembly out, um, but it is very solid in the cabinet um, inside. Had to pull the back amplifier out, as you can see. Hello. So, um, pretty impressive. What they've done is they've got this assembly um, on the front that um, kind of just butts up to this thing on the inside, but helps then direct the sound out of these um, cellular waveguides uh, for the high frequency driver. Um, everything goes on with um, threaded screws. Uh, there's thread certs on this metal assembly holding this together. This is all cast, so it's not plastic to resonate. resonate. Um, it does have BNC drivers on it, and this thing is just like beef. Um, Absolutely means they're 16 ohm drivers, um, so they are wired in parallel. Um, get an 8 ohm load um, onto the amplifier, and um, you can kind of see down the throat of these things, sort of, um, of what they've done with the um, the cellular waveguide on those things. But um, very robust and a very solid plate um, with the high frequency drivers on it. It mounts up, and the way that it sandwiches in between the uh, the front and back of the box right here is um, pretty amazing. Um, gets very solid in the cabinet. And um, with these being cast, um, as far as the waveguides are concerned and bolted on, um, the rigidity of that whole assembly is pretty nice. Um, what I do want to do, we'll put this down here, and I do want to show you the, um, the FBT driver. This is not a BNC, but it's an FBT. Um, but as you can see, the magnet structure on this and uh, the cooling port on it as well. Um, nice cast frame on it, and um, for a you know a ten inch driver, it's really pretty, um, pretty nice, pretty like good sized leads um, going into it uh, for the voice coil. But uh, it is gasketed on the back, so it does form a nice tight seal uh, on both the ten inch drivers to the uh, to the box. I had to kind of pry it and peel it off. Same thing with the. Uh, the high frequency driver um, assembly as well. So everything gets sealed up and is really um, pretty tight on it. With the amplifier then being pulled, um, we did go ahead and pull that. And as you can see here, um, everything is sealed up on the inside of it. So there really isn't anything uh, for us to take a look at. It is one huge mother of a heat sink. Um, from looking at how they've got this thing uh, put together. Um, but as with any of these speakers, um, all going to be um, switch mode power supply and um, all surface mount technology inside. So um, amplifier weight uh, for the box itself, um, I would estimate at uh, probably about seven pounds um, total. Uh, it is all aluminum and uh, everything connects onto the back of it with just a, uh, as you can kind of see right there, with a uh, four conductor push on connector that locks onto the, uh, the circuit board that's back there and provides outputs for the, um, the high frequency and the low frequency drivers. So um, service wise, it's great because everything just unplugs. If something should happen to the amplifier module, you can send that back in or the drivers can be replaced really easy. Um, everything is on um, threaded inserts so that should anything happen, you're not gonna strip the wood out and um, have to end up running new holes on things. So they've done a good job with that, good construction. We'll put this down. And what I want to do is just kind of turn the cabinet here and let you see um, kind of what the construction is on the inside. I know it's a little bit hard uh, with the cameras in position like they are. We've got nice handles on the sides um, with a rubber grip on them. And like I said, the uh, the fly hardware on the sides here is very robust and uh, the way that the cabinet is put together. There is um, the foam dampening down here in the bottom and the back as well. So we'll just do a 360 that you can kind of look at it and see through it. And, uh, but the cabinet construction is very good. That 
even just you know slapping on it like that um, the foam on the inside of it um, really helps keep the resonance out of the, uh, the wood itself but they've done a really good job and then it's got a um, kind of a black spatter paint finish on it um, that they've done a, uh, a nice job with um, to finish it off and that's about it um, I wish that I could fire this up for you and have you hear it over this microphone but it wouldn't do it justice um, from what we heard earlier today what we're going to try to do um, in a next video is uh, take the two out and put them outside and maybe get our um, our zoom that uh, kind of uncolors things and um, record at a fairly high sampling rate I know YouTube doesn't help really give you a good representation of the audio quality um, that comes out of these boxes or any of them for that matter that we've done a, a video on YouTube but uh, hopefully it can help um, give you a better understanding of what these are all about uh, from FBT so gosh with that said I wish we had a, a line of six or eight of them to put up um, and do a, a real nice side-by-side -side comparison with some of the other uh, line array assemblies that we have but we only have two so um, Anyway, that is the FBT Muse. Um, this is a new product uh, for FBT, and um, it looks like it's going to be a really solid winner for them. Um, if you have any questions, you can get a hold of us. We are FBT dealers, or um, you can end up uh, going to FBT USA, and they've got their website that has all of the FBT products, and uh, in addition to the, the Muse and um, see what they've got as far as offerings from uh, Italian speaker imports and um, we are happy that they have uh, chosen us to be able to do this video for them and uh, looking forward to doing more for uh, FBT speakers. So we're going to go ahead and get it back together, um, play a little bit of music through it as we close out the video and uh, give it a wrap. We are all back together, as you can see here, nice and beautiful. I've um, got a little bit of music playing through it. Um, Construction-wise, the thing went back together really easy. Um, no screw issues, no alignment issues with anything. Um, my take on this, and, and we'll be able to determine in the next video we're going to do on this with the two um, cabinets in a, a live demo. Um, that they've got a winner, man. This thing is just absolutely amazing. Um, it's solid. It's it's good and heavy. The um, rearward rejection out of it uh, with the dampening material in it is just fantastic. That it just keeps all of that energy um, focused out of the front of the boxes, which will help reduce stage noise um, just immensely, um, whether flown or whether ground stacks. So. Um, there you have it. It is the FBT Muse line array, two-way, dual tens, dual one-inch drivers, um, BNC um, drivers for the high frequency, and FBT drivers for the uh, the dual ten-inch um, drivers in the box. So, um, with that said, um, stay tuned. Uh, within the next few days or a week, we'll be posting the other video uh, that we're going to do with the two boxes outdoors and let you kind of just see what that's all about and what we've done and kind of some of the readings that uh, we'll be taking with that. So um, if you're interested in these things or any of the other speaker products that we've got videos on, um, check us out on the web, www.trinityprosound.com. Uh, phone us at area code 209-832-8023 or you can email us at uh, sales at trinityprosound.com. Um, there's links on the website to, uh, to email us if you want to as well. But uh, check out our other videos on the speakers. Um, again, we are dealers for FBT and about a bazillion other pro audio lines. And so um, we are kind of consider ourselves home of the killer deals. So there you have it, Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com. Thanks for watching.